This is why I train in martial arts. Hi, I'm calling this video in defense of Stacy Dash. Go to the full 911 recording of what happened. It's on, uh, I think it's police reality or something like that. There's a police channel here uh, on YouTube. And they got the full blown out conversation and phone call of her on 911. And this is another case of don't listen to what the internet's telling you. Don't listen to what they say, whoever they are. I know it looks bad because she's been married four times and that does say something about her and her guilt and involvement in her predicament where she got arrested in 2019, in case you didn't know. But I was listening to it and she actually is the victim. They are really, the uh, her husband and his daughter are really ganging up on her. And don't let the fact that they bailed her out of jail fool you. That's just twisting and just twisting a knife in the wound already and then taking a bunch of salt and just pouring it in there and probably some alcohol and vinegar too. That's just to say, we own you, we can put you in jail and now we bail you out. So Stacy Dash, if you are listening, I think you need to get as far away from that marriage as you possibly can. Just you, you need to go. Those, those, those aren't your children. So I think you should leave. I could understand if those were your children with the man. Those are not your kids. You know, you want to be a mother to them? Fine. You need to go. Because see, this is what I worry about. If they are, she said, I have marks on my neck. And he, and he, but yet he says that I scratched him up. Those scratches that are on there are not for me. You know, somebody put those on his arm. If that's true, that means they want him to lie and do anything. And the system's not going to care, even if you have marks on your neck. They still going to take you to jail. Because when you're dealing with, like, expert liars, that's I wish there was a martial arts technique that was a, you know, self-defense against liar technique, a form of a lying no kata, you know, a defeat liar's tool, you know, crouching tiger, hidden lion. There's nothing you can do against liars a lot of times unless you just have strong truth. Because they just, they're so good at lying and getting people sympathy. And, you know, if we're talking about a physical confrontation, they can get other people to beat you up by being lying and manipulating. So, Stacey Dash, I think that, um, I think you were some people who are liars. And I think you need to get away from there. And this is the thing. People are saying that she's trying to look like a victim she's, and she's lying. And look at how upset she gets. People get angry and upset like that when they are telling the truth and they're mad at you because it's like, why don't you believe me? I'm telling you the truth. Ah, I'm telling you the truth. Her fault and flaw is that she can't see how her anger feeds into it. Stacey Dash's own anger and apparently this... It's something that she's attracted to in people that are like that. It's like, they just, they just sitting back waiting on her anger. And then she gets mad and then they fuel it and they use it against her. So they poke the bear, they provoke her. And then when she goes off because she's human, but then when she goes off, then they get her. So her best bet is to just not be associated with them anymore. Go to marriage number five. Stacey Dash, you're still attractive. You can go to marriage number five, and you know it. There'll be somebody out there willing to take you off, they, off of that hands. So this is in defense of Stacey Dash. I really wish you could see this. I think you need to protect yourself and just get away from them. and Don't ever speak to them again. I got to go. Someone's calling me. Peace.